संजय पाटिल सर ही हेज वर्किंग एट मॉडर्न कॉलेज शिवाजी नगर एट मॉडर्न कॉलेज गणेश खिंड फॉर ट्वेंटी सेवन Uh, is, uh, now he is a head uh, head and associate professor of his department he completed his phd in agricultural geography in 2012 his area of interest are climatology agriculture environment tourism adv- adventure traveling he is the author of five book of geography such as ssc hsc economic geography tourism ge- uh, tourism geography etc he published 10 research articles in various journal he presented a research paper in many national and international conference including usa and russia he has also worked as an as a nss officer for 5 years or years he work as ceo in the college for 10 years he also work as a bos member at maharashtra ssc hsc board mit university pune He received Google Bhushan Award from DGSI at Raipur Conference. His hobbies are reading, trekking, traveling, cycling. He is a very enthusiastic and dynamic personality. Student from the work done below. The first activity is that adventure biking from Pune to Ladakh on bullet for seven thousand kilometer distance in thirty two days in three states in May June two thousand thirteen. The other activity is that Pune to Goa cycling 500 km in November 2016. Pune to Akshay cycling 625 km in five days in November 2017. Pune to Chennai Kumari cycling 1600 km in 12 days in November 2018. Pune to Pandharpur cycling 250 km in In December 2020, trekking expedition at various forts in Sayyadi with 100 to 300 people, uh, students to cover his nature and mental fitness of students in last 25 years. Really, he is an energetic person, a uh, personality who meets us as a resource person today. I am not taking too much time of yours. I would like to invite our guest to start with his lecture. Sir, please, you can start the session. Thank you, Jitendra Ji. Well, thank you, sir. You come. Yeah, thanks for my short introduction. Uh, so this is my. opportunity to deliver a lecture at sp college for phd students i think all you are phd students uh, doing your research at sp college research center uh, it's my privilege that i am in front of you in this uh, pandemic online lecture series uh, today is my first lecture and after that uh, another madam will deliver second lecture so i uh, i have time from 3 o'clock to 4:30 i think so uh sir shall i start maza aaj yeto hai yes sir uh, i am yes, audible sir. and visible also yes sir um, what would be the language that medium of instruction lecture whether it would be marathi hindi or english both sir both 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 means Hindi English or Hindi Marathi or Marathi English. English English Marathi. English Marathi. Okay. As well as Hindi also. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think Komal Singh is there and Sanai Sayan Roy. I think both are. Yeah, no. Sayan like Roy is not uh, aware of Marathi. That's why. These are, I think, non-Marathi yeah. uh, researchers. Okay. i will try at my best uh, i am sanjay patel from modern college so my topic is uh, shall i share my ppt one second yes
my screen is uh, visible or not yes sir yes sir yes sir visible okay is it okay yeah yes sir yeah uh, here all teachers and research scholars so this is my very uh, this lecture is very difficult task for me to give lectures because uh, usually we give lectures to the students college students and other to students so i will try to not convey but i will just talk or we will discuss later on on this topic new avenues in tourism geography this is my favorite topic tourism and i think all uh, majority of the students all knows that what is tourism and what is tourism geography what is geography and how we can deal this uh, tourism with geography geospatial analysis uh, in terms of tourism and there are some new types and new avenues uh, new approaches towards the problem solving in this tourism geography uh, so i will start lecture directly because we have short of time uh, so what is tourism tourism uh, we know all this this is not including traveling also but this is also staying traveling and staying away from your house away from your uh, residence for one day two day three days or less than one year that is called tourism and we love tourism we love traveling we love tourist places there are so many tourist places in in india also there are 28 states if we spend one year or we uh, if we go every year one state so you will have uh, 28 years so some uh, some people goes to tirupati balaji every year i go to tirupati balaji and have a mundan there but uh, my suggestion for these devotees or for anybody you go there are so many shrines in india so many tourist places in india or in the world you go enjoy there see that geography history culture so you will have you would have a, a, another experience experience of culture experience of climate experience of geography and we are geography students so we look that tourism in terms of geospatial uh, analysis in terms of that analysis so these are new avenues in tourism so these are means there are many types but these are little bit different types we know all but we will just um, analyze these start types and with photos and with short, short, short information first is food paratan anna paratan that is uh, culinary tourism all we know means many people goes to goa and have that dinner with the local people or if you go to rajasthan jaipur you will have dinner you can enjoy dinner with that raja maharaja maharani that palace uh, at the cost of 1000 2000 5000 10000 rupees so that is also part of anna paratan or food tourism and this is very famous in uh, um, european and american uh, america canada also if you go to nasa and if there is a suppose in uh, uh, if you have opportunity to have a dinner with astronaut they they charge 500 dollar 200 dollar 300 dollar for one dinner with astronaut in nasa if they they are there so this is or uh, also with scientist if you go in any research institute if there is a famous scientist if you want to meet and if you want to uh, to do lunch or dinner with them then they charge means they are very professional in nature about tourism or in any type of uh, lifelong activities uh, this food to tourism mm, you can cook with them can cook with that local people also in america there are separate kitchens uh, 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 kitchens or uh, roadside kitchens are also there you can go and you you will have your own food cook your own food in that hotel in that restaurant okay also along that street uh, corners so uh, there are this this type of uh, facilities are not available in india right now but you can enjoy uh, that food tourism in european uh, streets or european avenues or parks also uh, 
there are in every big city metropolitan city in india uh, you will have khau gali okay this khau gali in indore is very famous in mumbai also famous mumbai or uh, delhi also famous so they, there are so many types of food items are available at the evening or whole night chappan bhog okay this uh, in indore this khau gali there are more than 200 uh, uh, restaurant shops are there and whole night that shops are open uh you are research students so these are the avenues you can have your research papers you can write or you will have your uh, projects or you will have your research topics you can select so majority of the students do the um, their research in geomorphology or in economic geography but this tourism ge geography is also uh, having the new paradigm or new perspective in this field about the research means in that field you can do research uh, these are the popular tourist destinations uh, you can enjoy that food tourism thailand malaysia and mexico and indonesia these are very famous means you will have from that cockroach and that insects snakes um, this live uh, live snakes also you can have order from that menu card uh sustainable and organic so in europe organic food is very famous and now we this concept we brought from them we brought brought from them uh, organic market that continues to grow at tourists extend this lifestyle to their holidays so in every saturday and sunday they will they uh, they will have holidays from their house means 200 300 400 km and they enjoy their life they earn money and they also spend money if you go to if indian people are in um, uh, they goes to america and canada and uh, generally or culturally or by our tradition we do not spend more money in foreign countries we save that money and uh, send to our native places or to back to india so that's why they says that the indian peoples are not helping their economy so this is their uh they earn more and they spend more in uh, advanced countries that's why the currency market is more flexible or more vibrant in europe and america so organic uh, am i audible no is there any response yes sir okay 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 uh, yes sir sir okay organic wine tourism so this is very famous in majority of the parks or in the fields also in our nasik sula wine uh, if you go that country yard then you will enjoy that wine various types of wines are there for testing purpose also uh, these wines are made from without uh, pesticides without spraying pesticides and insecticides on that grapes and other type of grains so you will have the pure organic oil in also in pune mumbai or in big metropolitan cities in uh, in india we get that food organic food that shop shopkeeper says this is organic food organic vegetables organic fruits but uh, we don't believe that whether this is organic or not because we don't have that testing facilities whether he lies or not so this organic food this is very costly than normal what we are getting 90% food we are getting a uh, synthetic food hybrid food or gm modified food genetically modified food so this food causes cancer so we can do research whether this food this is very highly technical or genetic engineering type of research but uh, we can do survey that whether uh, how many farmers do organic farming in that field in that area and wh and wh what is the uh, costing with the traditional costing or with uh, chemical fertilizer costing and with organic uh, fertilizers costing we we can do comparison for that purpose uh, so this type of mexican food this food is also available in in big mm -hmm. mm -hmm. cities uh everyone i would like to express my gratitude to this place okay uh so thai food is world famous 
If you see the food type means the most famous food in the world, the Thai food is number one in the world. So because variety and the with spices and types of food and non-vegetarian food, 90% food that is Thai food is non-vegetarian. And vegetarian concept is in India. Means most of the vegetarian people are found in India. If you go abroad, Europe, America, Canada, so Middle East or Southeast or Eastern Asia, you will get 90% chances on your dish, on your platter, that will that would be non-veg. Uh, and this is very common. What they eat, you can't imagine. They can eat anything. In also northeastern states in Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya. So means they what they eat that is resemble to like South Southeast Asian countries. Uh, from rat, from snake, from dog, cat, cockroaches, insects, uh, snakes, anything. Uh, that's why the biodiversity of that uh, animals are also disappearing in these regions. Uh, another type of tourism, um, they're having the very la less chances for the research, but uh, we must know this is the another type of tourism that is a dark tourism. What is the dark tourism? This concept includes the region tourists visit that site that attributes alone may not take a visitor dark tourist. The main attraction to dark uh, locations is their historical values rather their association with death and suffering means many times in many places at the time of war holocaust occurred by one uh, religion on another religion by one country on another country or like that this is the very dangerous uh, type of uh, we can say to not tourism but these are places were dangerous in terms of that events what they occurred so this is a one place uh, in rwanda that is a genocide museum is uh, established in Rwanda and Tutsi, Tutsi minority ethnic group as well as some moderate Hutu and Twa were slaughtered by armed um, militia. Uh, grip tourism, uh, this is also that is the same tourism that is a dark tourism and these are there are many places in Europe in uh, um, China, in South Korea, in Russia, in uh, Japan also. Uh, sorry, not Japan, in South Korea also. So we know this is a World Trade Center that is attacked, bombed by uh, Osama bin Laden. He was an engineer and uh, he attacked on, I think, 20 years back. And from 20 years that, um, NATO and uh, US military operations were carried in Afghanistan. And we know the result of after 20 years, what is happening in uh, Afghanistan. Now Taliban Sarkar, Taliban uh, Sarkar is established, government is established yesterday, yesterday, two days back. And what he, what that uh, education minister said yesterday, we don't need the PhD and uh, master students in Afghanistan. Means we don't want higher education in Afghanistan. So uh, this is also this is the result of that. Uh, that is a um, military tourism. Means military tourism. This is a part of military tourism. Uh, what military did and with that society, that is the result. Means nobody can conquer Afghanistan. Also, Russia defeated by that Al Qaeda, that uh, local people, and this America also uh, ran away. So uh, this is worldwide. Means big countries cannot capture any small countries nowadays because the perspectives of that, the objectives of that uh, war is is different nowadays. Uh, this is another picture, Hiroshima Peace Memorial Museum. Uh, if we go to Hiroshima and Nagasaki, we always visit, the tourists used to visit at these places. And we know on 6th August and 9th August that Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombed by Harry Truman, by America. 
and uh, three lakhs people died on the spot in these two cities. And after uh, six days, uh, Japan uh, Japan surrender on 15th of August 1945. So this is uh, one type of grief tourism. Chernobyl, we know in 1986, the reactor number four, that is blast, occurred in 1986. And this place was banned for next 20 years. So, but uh, nowadays they are earning money. The people or tourists go there, see that place. And this is one uh, satellite map is given at the left hand side. So Chernobyl as well as Fukushima. So these are now uh, um, best tourist places in that countries. Um, Nanjing massacre. Japan, unfortunately, we don't know more history about the Japan, but Japanese people are very brave and their military operations carried in Russia. They defeated Russia, Japan defeated China, Japan defeated uh, South Korea, means North Korea also. Which uh, in Eastern Asia, China Samraj, China's dynasty was very big, but after Second World War, that synchronized up to the Japan only. And uh, in uh, China, the Japanese uh, people uh, done cruelty, uh, cruelty in Nanjing area, that is called Nanjing massacre, means tens of thousands of Chinese people died by the Japanese army, killed by Japanese army. And they buried there. And this is the most uh, um, visited place in this dark tourism. Auschwitz concentration camp in Poland. That was the, the so G Germany attacked on uh, that Poland on 1st September 2000, sorry, 1939, and it was captured by Germany. And there are, there is series of 40 concentration camps in this, in this camp, in this main Auschwitz camp. Here in this picture, Heinrich Himmler, this is the right hand of Hitler. Uh, he, he visited that place and uh, daily 2,000, 4,000 people. The target target was that at that time, daily 2,000 people have to cut, have to kill by this German army. And uh, in this, at the time of Second World War, this is that same, that gate of that railway track. So railway directly goes inside the concentration camp and uh, that young people, they, they separate, uh, they get separated and that uh, old people and small children, they, um, they killed by that German army. Oh, this is a very nice picture, nice movie that is uh, directed by Steven Spielberg. And uh, that this, this movie got many awards, many uh, Oscar awards also. This is very nice um, uh, picture, movie. And I think more than three hours. Schindler's List. This is the name of uh, name of the uh, German industrialist Oscar Schindler. He saved many people, many Jew Jew people, refugees, and uh, because because he has he had the industry, and in that industry he saved he labored that uh, Jewish people, Jewish refugees, and saved many lives. Uh, next tourism, that is film tourism. We know the what is the film tourism. Uh, if film shoot in that uh, scenario, in that location, then people used to go there and local guide says that the film Shole, Shole pic picture, shooting of that Shole picture was shot here. So uh, many people, Miss India is the uh, rank one country in the world that produces more films many films in all languages around 600 and 700 films uh, are directed and produced in india this is the largest in number hollywood bollywood Tollywood. there are in hyderabad also hyderabad chennai kolkata mumbai these are the main four cities uh, and also bangalore these are the cities where the uh, the film locations are more film whatever the process processing studios are there. 
film tourism and because of that film tourism we european people now invited that uh, indian filmmakers that come here and uh, shoot your movie and uh, they charge very less money than india and the the benefits and benefits are there in european countries the population is very less and uh, there is scenic and natural beauty is there so indian producers are prefer to go abroad and shoot their movies uh, in, in mostly in european countries or canada also in africa also now they are going to south america also and after that shooting that that place is very uh, become very famous and people go there as a tourist and they earn money that local people earn money uh, so these are the some theme based uh, uh, locations that uh, organize tours portrait locations if you go ramoji city there is a whole city that is a separate city that is a theme park we can say and uh, people go there and at the cost of at the price of 2000 rupees uh, uh, we spend one day in ramoji city and they earn 2000 rupees so this is one type of tourism this is new type of tourism uh these are the places where the locations and that movies and tv tv series are Shh. one second i think uh, one second hello one second. it is from no uh ramoji film city all we know i think many people have visited this place uh ramoji film city this is near hyderabad mm. so this is a uh, another place uh, that is in ladakh that is uh, pangong lake 30% of the pangong lake is in india and 70% in uh, ladakh kashmir uh, now in ladakh Seventy mm, percent uh, is uh, occupied in in chi uh, by China, and uh, this is the place where three date shootings was held at this place. This place. Uh, this is the place where last scene. I think last scene of that three date movies sh shot. Mm, and I visited this place in uh, in two two thousand thirteen in June two thousand thirteen in Ladakh. This is very nice and scenic beauty here. Very nice place. Jindagi na milegi dobara. This is also uh, shoot. Shoot was done in uh, Spain. That doom. This this is the Namibia. This is very nice uh, shooting held in Namibia when the robbery robbery was held um, when Ruthik Roshan jumped from helicopter on the train. Jodha Akbar that is film in Rajasthan Rajasthan is very famous in India the Rajasthan is number 1 for the shooting places uh, many many pictures of yash chopra and uh, avinash gowarikar um, were sh sh shoot in Rajasthan uh, and this bahubali that is in kurnool panipat near karjat so big big sets were uh, planned and after that uh, if you go right now also karjat in karjat uh nd studio is there nitin desai studio they charge uh, heavy money to see that studio or if if possible uh, you can see that live shooting at that places of any movie or series uh all we know the the shole nagar is there or sippi nagar is there that is ramgarh ke shole this is a ramgarh area new lis established by that ram edeker he was the uh, art director uh this this is another tourism uh jail tourism now many people uh, want to see that jail inside but how to go many people are, are also afraid uh, but prison department of maharashtra has launched jail tourism those who wanted to see that jail inside that they are welcome in the erwada jail and this is the jail where many big people national heroes were jailed in the in this erwada jail from gandhi ji to lokmanya tilak nehru sardar patel sarojini naidu subhash chandra bose uh, motilal nehru pandit jawarlal nehru they all were jailed in this jail erwada jail in pune uh, 
Uh, also, we can see how we can participate in their acti uh, routine activities. So, uh, what the, uh, the um, that people inside that um, they what they are making, what how they are earning inside the jail, how they live, what they eat. Also, you can order that jail food. Uh, this is the historical place in Pune, in uh, Pune Pact, in that jail where the uh, Dr. Ambedkar and Mahatma Gandhi ji, they were um, signed as a Pune Pact that is called Pune Pact. Uh, that is very historical uh, aspect in this history, in this modern history. Uh, now this is also another uh, point, another uh, uh, place where the historical tourism or we can say jail tourism that this is a cellular jail where Swatantra Veer Savarkar were jailed in this room, very small room by, by 10, oh, sorry, 7 feet by uh, 5 feet and he spent 13 years in Andaman. We know, we, uh, I think you probably read that Kare Pani and uh, um, that Maji Janmathep. This is very, very small room like bathroom and uh, he spent 13 years in that jail. This is a very big jail. Uh, now, uh, Kerala jail types ties up with Snigi to deliver food. What type of food means whatever the uh, many people want to test that jail food. I don't know whether they will go there next uh, in life in, in their life. But that jail, jail authorities have started to order, to bring order, to take orders from the people, from Kerali people, from, uh, I think, Kottayam, uh, Thalasari. Thalasari chicken is very famous. That is a Kerala uh, Kerala chicken uh, biryani. Uh, Thrissur, Thrissur jail, they started for taking order of jail food. And also, there is a huge response in last year. I think last in in last two years, uh, they are they are getting very huge response through uh, Swiggy uh, delivery app. Mm. Uh, now, next tourism is slum tourism. This is now very famous in Mumbai or big big cities like New York, London, or. Uh, uh, Brazil also, uh, in Cape Town also. What the downtrodden people, how they live in their slums, this is the main objective of that uh, rich people, uh, whether they want to spend few days or few hours with them, how they live, how they, uh, um, how they resident in that small, small houses, small, small rooms, and what they eat. Is, uh, some rich people wanted to spend uh, some few times with their uh, in in that slums uh, uh, mumbai uh, one of the companies in mumbai they 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 are charging 10000 or 5000 rupees per day to spend uh, in this mumbai tourism dharavi tourism dharavi very very famous so uh, this is the main concept that is in america so uh, white people they wanted to see that how that black people are living in that in that uh, slum area, uh, Cape Town. Also, the black people means uh, this is very big, big, uh, big jhopadpattis and slums areas are developing in South Asia as well as in Africa and South America. Uh, that is also called ghetto tourism. That was first studied in 2005 by by Michael, uh, Michael Stephens. This is also one type of research he has carried in, in his life. Prior to the release of the Slum Dog Millionaire, Mumbai was very famous for the tourist at, to tourist destination for the foreigners. Many foreign people come to the Mumbai and they take the pictures and they sell on that uh, website apps. Website uh, and they charge they charge one picture ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, hundred dollars. The pictures are from Mumbai or in from India and they are selling that. Our means, this is like the selling our uh, poverty, selling our Jogi Jopadiya, selling our um, destiny. Uh, see, this is 
what I stated earlier, this is the big pipeline in Mumbai. This is a Kachra garbage and that uh, girl is walking on the pipeline and she is taking the picture. Uh, so such type of tourism no, or bathing in Ganga or bathing in the religious places and they shoot and they take photos and they sell uh, to the big websites and they, they charge on the websites. Uh, so this is very this tourism is very famous in India, in uh, South Africa, in Brazil, in Mexico and in New York also. Uh, so this is very, um, this is Indian slum and this is uh, Brazil, this is in Africa, this is in Brazil, um, this is also in Rio de Janeiro. Okay, Janeiro means January. This is the river of January like that. This is a Spanish name, river, sorry, this is a Portuguese name, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, uh, controversy has occurred because the package includes more money, means 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 for one couple if, if they want to stay in Dharavi Jopadapati. But some NGOs, they, uh, they criticize uh, this, uh, this tourism, uh, slum tourism, uh, because they, they criticize this program as a selling poverty. So others have argued that such programs are needed to change the people's perception of slum, means there are positive as, as well as negative angle. Why, why they want to live, they want to stay in Juggi Jopri. They want to see their life or they want to experience their life or they want to take photos and they, they want to sell their photos and videos uh, on other TV programs or on big websites or on, on OTT platform. So that is the main purpose. Uh, Dharavi slum. But this is uh, in slum tourism, there are chances. Uh, if you see the in positive angle, people that Juggi Jopriya people, they can earn money. If any foreign foreigner and uh, they, uh, he, he, he want to stay with them for daily 2000 rupees, he always, that Juggi Jopri wala always welcome him. No doubt, he is earning 10, uh, 2000 or 1000 per day. Uh, this is Dharavi slum. This is uh, also one of the biggest uh, slums in the world. Uh, this is biggest in India, biggest in Asia. Uh, that area is very small, just two square kilometer, around 500 acres. And population is approximately living in that Dharavi slum, that is 10 lakhs. A population density is around 3 lakhs. So this is one of the densest populated area in Mumbai city. Uh, but what? But what is the magic of this or what is the economic... Uh, uh, economic value. So this is near airport, a Muslim population is around 30%, but the businesses, this is some people says this is the economic hub of Mumbai for small scale industry. So many poultry, uh, poultry uh, recycling industry, leather industry, textile industry, uh, also Juna Bazar or uh, thief industry that, that flourished in this area in this in the Jhar Dharavi slum area, 15,000 single room factories. So 15,000 single room factories. So this is the asset, means in small area without any infrastructure, without any more facilities available, that people who are dwelling in the Juggi Jopadiya, they are producing uh, some materials, some finished products so in small scale industry. And this is also, that's why this is heavily polluted area. So crimes are also um, prosper here. Crimes, this is also the center of the crime. Sanitation problems are always there in any uh, slum area. And of course, this is overcrowded. So Dharavi Jhopadpatti, this is the, uh, we can say, asset for this activity. But uh, also the crimes are also there. And many people have done PhD in this area, in this Dharavi Jopadapatti. 
so there are many times you can we can do our phd or research or research paper in any type of industry in this dharavi area or we can do our big research on the conglomerates of this industry or the socio economic aspects of that people living in that area or health on we can do also research on the sanitation uh, problems or sanitation um, problems in that area like that so this is the dharavi slum area so next this is not in india but uh, in africa oh uh, this is very famous in africa but uh, many people are in uh, uh, that uh, environmentalist always criticize and many uh, african people also ban this hunting tourism but no nowadays also few countries are engaged are practicing this hunting uh, tourism namibia this is one of the leading country leading state in africa so animal um, animal right activist always protesting uh, this hunting tourism and because of that the pop the population of endangered animals are going to vanish how why so this is our research uh, for example price tag means there is like menu card if you want to kill cheetah by your uh, stain gun then you have to charge more than $6000 or lion $10000 tiger $8000 or deer or um, that um, there are many or uh, and uh, or that uh, cheetah is there elephant $5000 so such type of animals they are killed by the tourists mostly european tourists and they pay the heavy charges they pay from what 1000 to 20000 dollars according to the animal and uh you will have uh, they will provide the hunter 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 people their local hunter that black people uh, they will come with with you and uh, uh, they will provide jeeps and all rifles or whatever the weapons killing weapons you can kill and but you can't sell okay that property after death that animal is belongs to that government means uh, government sell their uh, that body parts and they earn money means this is the double sided business also this is the um, employment generation that held in tanzania in mozambique in south africa in tanzania lion buffalo Uh, these these uh, animals are killed uh, by this uh, by this tourism hunting to to tourism in mozambique lions are there leopard okay buffalo elephants as trophies from their hunting experiences the world famous krugner uh, kruger national park are there in kalahari desert and nala suni white rhino no apart from buffaloes elephants lions these are the animals very popular for this hunting tourism uh sometimes if you want to snap the picture of that animal but you have to pay that is not hunting but uh, that is like a wildlife tourism or a jungle tourism that is the part of jungle tourism uh like that in namibia elephants are there lion buffalo etc montenegro duck means even birds are also killed by the snipers in bird sanctuary also birds are killed that's why their rearing of birds and animals is common in for this purpose for their hunting purpose red deer roe deer wild boar wolf these are common in this belarus also this is like black buck this is leopard in cambodia after hunting was banned in 1954 in cambodia the government finally opened doors for hunters in 2009 see the this is the pressure uh, on economics 
okay so they are getting the good or uh, handsome money from this hunting it is actively working with locals to promote sustainable hunting thus preserving cambodia's rich wildlife some experts says that by this hunting tourism we kill only that extra or excess population of elephants we don't kill that animals which are going to extinct but this is not true but actually this is means this is a fair, this is half truth but if means sometimes in uh, in in uh, in few countries in africa uh, elephants pop if elephants population is more that is a danger to the jungle so that's why government order give the contract to the hunters that kill 5000 elephants this year or 10000 uh, elephants this year like that and uh, after killing they use their uh, body parts for their economic purpose also in australia rabbit and kangaroos are used to kill uh, through helicopters because they destroy or they disturb the wildlife other wildlife or flora and fauna okay jungles are uh, disturbed by this uh, rabbit or elephant or that kangaroo also or neel gai no jungle gai jungle cow jungle buffalo caribou uh, so this is one type of whale whale hunting is also that they means that aquatic hunting is also uh, that uh, another tourism is uh, prosper in korea and japan also in mostly in pacific pacific area argentina also in in south america this hunting tourism this is also famous uh in argentina uruguay uh this is a puma this is a antelope uh now another type of tourism cultural tourism so um, our culture how our culture how that uh, that vastu or buildings or kabar or samadhi mandir masjid so these are the destinations where the heritage walk heritage cycling heritage walking heritage tourism that is developed that is occur in many countries this is the concept from europe so they preserve their buildings as it is from 5000 500 years to 1000 years so that's why heritage means uh, this is a heritage walk in mumbai pune this is very common and very famous so if pune in pune shanyar wada okay it was the capital shanyar wada was the capital of india from 1707 to 1818 1818 400 years shanyar wada pune was the capital of india because all mughal sultanat that was under the peshwas that was under the uh, that uh, maratha uh, dynasty from punjab to tanjore and from bengal to maharashtra so that's why uh, we should know what is shanyar wada what is parvati what is the that uh, gateway of india or any type of historical places or buildings or natural caves uh, we must know for common people for as a students also for foreigners also so i am at modern college so in my college many northeastern students are used to come for for uh, education so around uh, more than 300 400 students are from northeast uh, around 10% so uh, and every year i used to go with them to see the pune darshan i um, i book one bus or half bus 50% seats or whatever the response we get from the students for north eastern students or non marathi students i go with pune darshan with them and i show them that chenorada parvati or saras bag or uh, phule wada etc etc adivasi museum there are many places in one day they cover around 20 uh, 20 places for mostly for northeastern students manipur meghalaya assam students and they are happy to see that uh, our cultural prosperity or cultural assets of pune city uh, yeah russia and europe is very famous for this cultural tourism somewhere it is also the tribal tourism is uh, also occurred or also practice in some places according to the uh, availability of the 
destinations so this is another type of uh, tourism adventure tourism nowadays this is very famous so people used to go to, to the himalayas for biking for trekking trekking is also tourism one type of tourism so one trekker or one tourist give, uh, give many give employment to the many many people from his home up to their destiny so this is adventure tourism this is worldwide this is very famous and grd tata if you read the biography of grd tata he was the only person who who got who received the bharat ratna award so he believe and he was very means his hobby was adventure of uh, uh, adventure tourism uh, this is my photo when i was uh, uh, biking from pune to ladakh this is a part this is a ladakh this is a scene from ladakh uh, i covered uh, 13 states in 32 days covered 7000 km distance from pune to ladakh and again come back to pune two bikes and three persons with my with two friends pune ladakh pune it was very nice tour as a geographer as a, or any uh, i suggest that for geography geology uh, or botany zoology students must go must travel that also and also that traveling should be slow slow means cycles uh, cycle and walking is slow traveling a bullet car that is fast traveling and uh, aeroplane is um, not useful uh, for the study of the locality for study of the flora and fauna for study of the geography for study of the climatology etc and for geomorphology uh, wandering in jammu kashmir in himalayas is the best opportunity or best for the geography students or geology students we we know the himalaya was under the that that was the bed of the tethi sea but uh, we see that himalaya how that himalaya was at the at the bed of the sea so uh, we snap many photos around 6000 photos with me and i experience the four seasons in 32 days hot cold snow and rainy i experience in one month the four seasons at a time at a time means in 32 days uh, this is changla pass this is changla changla okay that is not changli that is a very white uh, bad pass of, uh, if we see the weather this is this road goes to pangong lake this is pangong lake uh where three idiots picture was shot uh shoot sorry uh, this is uh, in my lifetime uh one two and another third is disappeared third three uh, rainbows i saw in my life first time okay this is disappeared while bringing that camera mobile but uh, uh this is very nice place pangong lake Uh, and uh, this is a uh, china and we are st you are standing in india so uh, this is a uh, ladakh this is jozila pass only one way means one time one truck or one bus see uh, about the traveling uh, this is very 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 interesting thing i saw this uh, patthar sahib gurudwara in very very desert cold desert in ladakh and see the guru nanak dev ji before 500 years he traveled 25000 km uh sorry sorry 40000 km distance he traveled from north to south east to west from from iran to burma and from tibet to sri lanka he traveled 40000 km in 24 years on three horses in south asia so that's why he reached to the saint to the guru and he is a real guru in 1469 and that period was the invasion by the moguls and muslims and turkeys from northwestern india uh, means 3 km per day he traveled okay for the preaching purpose uh so these we see only that physical geography book uh, how that india is for that himalaya is a folding mountain see there is a uprising this is a oblique uh, holds this is a picture taken by means there are this there are many scenes you can see you can snap like this 
but this is uh, this is another slow traveling that but adventure traveling uh, yeah not more adventure but uh, if you see the number of accidents happen in india around 1 160000 people die on the road on indian roads in one year so if you see that figure then this is adventure traveling and i travel that 600 km in 12 days in 2018 with my three friends and uh, one student uh so this is and i always record my uh, traveling any type of traveling or this is a cycling or uh, journey record 160 km in 8 hours uh we have to keep because record is very important data is very important if you if you do research so we can do research uh, if you go to the any place um, that purpose is important objective is important this is a slow traveling and i experience the weather and the geography and the road status and the police behavior and local behavior language and uh, and food and everything i experience i and i also check my stamina whether my endurance is better or not but i succeed in my that journey these are another type of tourism now uh, in last 10 to 15 minutes and this is one type of agro tourism we know now i am taking very fast because it's 40 minutes over and but we have 35 minutes uh, in next 25 minutes in 20 minutes i will cover my this presentation we know agro tourism this is very best uh, topic for uh, your uh, research purpose uh, this is for rural experience and also job opportunities for the local people agro tourism this is very prosperous uh, uh, this is very uh, developed around the big cities like mumbai pune delhi and uh, city people uh, they want to spend one two three three days in a village area in natural beauty or in calm places okay in tambu also in tent also in village also in uh, mud flat area also uh morshi agro tourism and they charge 1000 2000 3000 rupees per day per head with food this is very common in in and around pune city and mumbai city uh why agro tourism foreigners also came uh in this is a sri lanka picture of sri lanka torna tent agro tapola tent uh, to to agro tourism uh this is girivan near mumbai this is uh, shantivan near mumbai sureshibir near mumbai this is kvk baramati uh, krishi vigyan kendra in baramati they also offer the agro tourism in their campuses premises uh, this is another type tourism night tourism and many people like this tourism uh so uh, in rajasthan in uh, dubai and in america this is very famous so rajasthan tourism development corporation they started this tourism at the night time with the maharajas with dinner with maharajas and maharani okay and the tariff fixed okay this is just ticket 1000 2000 3000 with food and uh, they earn money means day time also and night time also and uh, at night time uh, sometimes sound and music show is there uh, with narration Uh, with proper historical uh, information they were provided at night tourism in that light and music show uh this is also um, offering in uh developing in kerala also and dubai is the we can say the capital means after america dubai is the capital of night tourism means this is important city uh that state in night tourism so dubai this is the swarg धरती का स्वर्ग ओके और और मरुस्थली का स्वर्ग ऐसे भी बोलते हैं दुबई दुबई इज वेरी नियर टू अस जस्ट इट रिक्वायर्स वन पॉइंट वन एंड हाफ आवर्स बाय फ्लाइट एंड टू थ्री फोर डेज यू कैन स्पेंड विद इन वन लैक मीन्स दिस इज नॉट मोर कॉस्टली लाइक यूरोप एंड दिस इज वेरी फेमस फॉर फॉर शॉर्ट शॉर्ट टर्म टूरिज्म and uh, this is the tallest building in the world second tallest in the world and uh, this is really swarg means this life you can't find even in europe also 
दिस इज द स्वर्ग सिटी और हेवन सिटी इन डेजर्ट विथ ऑल ऑयल मनी एंड पेट्रोल डॉलर एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली दे डोंट हैव पेट्रोल so that's why their investment this is also one type of research uh, article uh, 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 research subject how dubai is developed like this heavenly city without any petro money okay they are uh, uh, they are investing this money in the tourism and they are getting that more money from the tourism and that they, they, they develop this tourism uh, uh, tourist destination in the world best tourist destination in the world dubai mumbai to dubai uh uh this is a rajasthan night tourism that uh, proposed by rajasthan government and this is the capital of the world in night tourism las vegas you know las vegas this is this is the city of night this he he share divsa jogtun ratri jagto so that's why this is called city of life city of night, night. and the more many casinos and jugari people that casino people and this sex tourism is also prosper here in las vegas in also pattaya bangkok malaysia indonesia uh, thailand uh, and this is a space tourism this is newly tourism and this is only open for not common people but for billionaire people but common common but billionaire people the abjadish they only go to this uh, space tourism whatever the age so see his age is more than 60 elon musk uh, musk and uh, um, uh, amazon founder uh, jeff be uh, jeff bezos he went i think uh, in july month in uh, gap of 15 days both went to the space and they started the space tourism both are the private companies and they started the space tourism by giving just uh, 10 million dollars and 20 million dollars accordingly and in next future planning they want to go uh, moon and mars with tourist say their future uh, planning uh nasa also allowed that private citizens can go to the international space stations so they are they are very professional uh, and how, they know the how to earn uh, money from the people so that's why they are commercial they are professional and uh, they are more advanced than us uh this is international space stations uh i think uh, another aspect is these were the avenues and next uh, second part is uh, tourism satisfaction this is a uh, really uh, for the interesting interesting uh, part for the research purpose how do research this is there are so many types of uh, how to uh, satisfaction calculate the satisfaction index of the customers of the tourist uh, or of the students also we can also calculate our satisfaction index for the students and this is one example that how the student customers means tourists are satisfied in this aspects uh so this is the biggest industry in the world so 10% 10% jobs are from the uh, to tourism industry so share of the gdp is around 10% okay in the if you consider the global gdp uh Uh, this is the one of this is the fourth largest industry in the world fourth largest is so we can't count that uh, monetary benefit okay actually in quantified manner but in qualitative manner we can quantify that we can say that the, this is the one of the biggest industry in the world from your household if you go if you go to kashmir then uh, you go by auto then by plane or by train you stay in hotel that is hotel industry will flourish and food industry will also flourish and shopping industry uh, there are many chances many assets and many facets are there uh, for this um, in this industry uh, how to calculate 
the satisfaction index what are the criteria by gangly says that if you stay longer spend more and come back if tourists are satisfied okay uh, they promote the social media and online ratings okay if your hotel is good if your city is good if your tourist place is good then people uh, automatically promote your destination they also brings family and friends if you were if they are satisfied and they also that is the impact on the quality of life of that of the tourist and this uh, such a way that they export in economic terms means they export this industry economically means virtually uh, not virtually but economically so uh, if you see the most visited countries uh, by international tourist see india's figure is 17 million and number one is 90 million 89 million so india having the chance to promote the industry modi sarkar is planning to is this this government is promoting the tourism industry to tourist tourist uh, develop, de development of the destinations of the tourist whether heritage tourism or historical tourism or natural beauty tourism see the, the majority of the countries are european here is china also this is thailand in this is in asia also then we are rich in culture we are rich in history we are rich in uh, monuments so uh, we can, there are chances to develop more in this industry investments chances in, in chances of investment is more in india for this uh, industry uh, so i skip i think uh, uh this is a case study suppose we will think uh, one paper one or two papers so the title of the paper this is by uh, uh this is published in deccan geographer a study of pilgrims and facilities on sant naneshwar palki route varkari samajacha satisfaction index kasa kadaycho ha tyachar paper ek chaplela ahe this is uh this is uh, the example how to calculate the satisfaction index this is very famous and very old method an objective is to examine the facilities provided to pilgrim centers in palki route from alandi to pandarpur okay this is the way of the, this is the route of 250 kilometers and hundreds and thousands of varkaris uh, go uh, go from pune or alandi to or dehu to pandarpur and what is their behavior and local the behavior that is categorized in for four uh, factors that is excellent good satisfactory and unsatisfactory from 1 to 10 if if you are happy then you can go, give 9 or 10 if you are not happy then 1 2 3 4 are there so um, that author uh, surveyed 200 and 2911 pilgrims so this is very big data if you say the 3000 pilgrims survey is not a joke but uh, this was uh, done by that author the weight is he he calculated the weight is from 0 to 10 and this is the criteria criteria this is the category from 0 to 10 level of satisfaction is retrieved by the statistical technique and this is the formula so satisfaction index of i factor so that is summation of mi into ni divided by n and these are the uh, uh, explanations of the uh, formula satisfaction index for the i factor this is this mi numerical values and this number of respondents and total number of respondents for that factor so this is the explanation of this this is very simple formula and this is a calculation is very simple and uh, there are three tables table 1 is associated with the factor wise uh, average satisfaction he categorizes his 10 factors into four categories uh, excellent to unsatisfactory total number of uh, tourists uh, varkaris are 200 2911 uh, accommodation accommodation 171 uh, varkari says accommodation is very excellent uh, 2300 uh, varkari says it is good 269 varkari says it is uh, varkari means that tourists that devotees 
in that palki uh, procession they said that uh, it is satisfactory and 88 uh, varkari says uh, it is unsatisfactory rahnachi vyavastha sangli ahe asas majority lokan samat ahe पण ते राहण्याची व्यवस्था कशी आपल्याला माहित आहे तंबू असेल झाड असेल शाळा असेल किंवा एखाद्या गावातले घरं असतील बट दे आर वारकरी अँड सी द टाईप ऑफ वारकरी टाईप ऑफ टुरिस्ट टाईप ऑफ कस्टमर्स यू हॅव टू सी दॅट टाईप अँड देअर इकॉनॉमिक आस्पेक्ट इन फूड इन इन फूड फॅसिलिटी दीज आर द डेटा ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर मेडिकल फॅसिलिटीज क्लिनलीनेस बिहेवियर ऑफ द पीपल अँड पर्सनल सेफ्टी ओनली सेव्हन factors he considered for the satisfaction index index of dhotis and this is the total uh, and this is the average and this is the percentage this is very simple means he categorized 2911 varkaris into four factors now in table 2 table 2 9.02 same four categories are there and uh, how these numbers are calculated because excellent uh, excellent is considered as a 9 uh, 8 9 or 10 this is the average of 171 see this is the back slide this is the 171 people have says that accommodation is excellent this is the average of 171 people whether somebody has given 8 somebody has given nine somebody has given 10 this is the average of that uh, 8 9 10 this is average is 9.02 likewise this is 8 uh, 7 and 6 this is 5 4 3 like that okay this is the average of that uh, how that 7.1 uh, occur see the next slide how uh, 7.9 occur see this is the how how many how many people are there uh, yeah one second so uh, excellent see for example 107 people says excellent and this 9.02 uh, how it occurs see this first varkari says it is 9 category 9 second says 10 uh, 10 9 like that and the total of 171 it is um, this total is suppose 1500 divided by number of uh, devotees number of tourists and that average is 9.02 like that these all numbers are calculated all numbers are calculated and next table 3 uh, this is the formula used for table 3 so 6.97 this is the satisfaction index for accommodation out of 10 6.9 okay 6.95 6.71 so this is the calculation of satisfaction index and a big number giving the first rank then uh, second number is this one third number is cleanliness see sorry third number is personal safety okay you can uh, ranks according accordingly the satisfaction index but how this 6.97 number occur this is by this formula uh, m i means that is from table 2 n i that is from table 1 means 171 varkari says that accommodation in excellent category is average is 9.02 2383 varkari people says that accommodation facility is uh, good uh, by 7.15 average good average and satisfactory average is 5.18 by 269 varkaris and unsatisfactory 88 people says unsatisfactory and that average is 3.29 summation of this all divided by total uh, tourist total varkaris 
and answer is 6.97 so this is the answer 6.97 by applying this formula okay satisfaction index of accommodation means and by, like this you can find out the formula for satisfaction index of food facility that is 6.97 and this satisfaction index of drinking water that is 6.71 this is the result of our research of this worker is from the route from alandi to pandarpur a uh, second case second uh, second uh, uh, second example of the same of the tourist place uh, that is pal that is this is in uh, raver taluka in jalgaon uh that is yawal wildlife uh, sanctuary and he consider the 10 factors see food drinking water personal safety shopping facility medical parking toilet also and guide facilities you can consider any number of uh, factors uh, any type of factors even toilet also even medical facilities also even parking facilities also uh, see and this is the Uh, this is with uh, his result that is uh, that in pal tourist center this is a final table result table no last table that is a first rank is cleanliness the people or tourist says cleanliness is the best facility or best factor they attracted to this pal sanctuary and food facility is also very good in pal sanctuary pal tourist place okay and guide facility here see 10 number is guide means we can say that guide facility is not proper is not available we can say or it is means less number of guides are available so according to this ranking you we can categorize the your uh, tourist place how it is that which points which uh, point should be developed in that um, tourist places tourist place so in case study third paper is a satisfaction level of pilgrims a case study of muktai fair uh, in jalgaon district see this is the only list of factors means i didn't calculate this one see one kitchen these 32 he considered the 32 factors for the satisfaction means 32 times he calculated this figure the pre service see what what he what he has taken Shoe stand also. This also consider whether shoe stand is uh, properly available or not. Seller behavior. See pre service kitchen room whether it is available or not. Disaster management is there or not? Because any disaster can occur. Okay, for example fire. Darshan line whether it is appropriate or not. Darshan line. Darshan queue. Coconut smashing. So this is very interesting. Coconut smashing facility whether available or not. People like tourists like or not. and all these are common and many factors are there you can take many factors whatever you want and this is another formula he calculated uh, overall pilgrims excellent means in this uh, in muktai fair the 52% people says that that in muktai that is overall is unsatisfactory means around 50% says it is good or better and 50% says unsatisfactory so this is the result of our research uh, these are the ideal papers or we can say ideal or printed or published papers see another last last case is suppose uh, case number 4 an assessment of tourist behavior at godazari tourist center chandrapur district see uh mr dange he has published this paper in uh, uh, in one of the journals ultimate uh, means after satisfaction index he again calculated another index that is ultimate satisfaction index see this is a satisfaction index as we in case number 1 we we have seen that how this satisfaction index is calculated see in this uh, uh godazari uh, tourist center in chandrapur of course this is natural beauty is there so it's natural scenery that is in ranking first means that is the best for a best attraction for the people means nature is there that's why people are going there and uh, in relative index another table he calculated another figures that um, 
this is these are the index relative index and in this case also natural scenery of godazari is also number 1 and in this in at the last table he calculated ultimate satisfaction index in this case he calculated uh, he merged both uh, relative as well as uh, satisfaction index relative relative index and satisfaction index and uh, by multiplying this both he got or you got ultimate satisfaction index 31.2 and if you see calculate all these here also natural scene scenery is number 1 in ultimate set in ultimate satisfaction index see here food is second what about in uh, first table here food is number 2 but in relative index food is number 3 okay so behavior of tourist here number 5 rank here number 4 rank and what about in ultimate this is a number 4 in rank so uh, there are so many types of uh, to calculate the satisfaction index of customer so one uh, one article i read in loksatta in last year uh in automation in ai technology artificial intelligent technology is dfc bank he that bank installed camera system or that uh, ai system in their few bank branches in india that that camera take the photo of the customer in those who are enter in the bank premises bank offices and um, uh, according to the photo on face photo that camera or ai software decides whether this customer is happy with this bank whether he is satisfied with this bank service or not means ai automatically calculated means we can say that robot software that automatically calculate that customers uh, satisfaction index and automatically uh, total number of satisfied customers numbers he calculates and send to the main branch many managers suppose this system but hdfc bank that is also num that is number one bank in private sector in india uh, he installed that uh, bank installed such type of facility such type of technology in their premises and uh, many banks or many offices government uh, as well as uh, uh, private go private branches private offices will install such type of uh, system so these are just uh, um, few headings or titles of the uh, research paper published in uh, reputed journals impact of tourism tra tourism traditional livelihood in lachung valley of sikkim himalay determinants of tourism development and its potential for sustainable development in bishnupur district manipur uh, tourism and eco development in arauli ranges a study of tourist attractions in chabahar city in iran koknatil paratana aur bhulkulik apattin sa parinam kokan railway sa vishesh abhas these are the few papers i just highlighted in this slide show how how we can do research on which topic uh, which are the aspects to consider for the research purpose in tourism geography and these are this is just data uh, france is number 1 in tourist uh, tourist uh, tourist uh, european countries not european but in the world these are the few statistics that many miss europe is number 1 in, in tourism and that, that's why they are earning good money and that's why they are developing they are preserving there and they are charging their ticket is 500 or 1000 if you want to visit any any palace or any big monuments so they charge in terms of rupees 500 rupees 1000 rupees 2000 rupees uh, that's why they maintain properly uh, these are the few figures uh, oh, we have 10 minutes but uh, i will finish in 2 minutes uh, forest tourist arrivals in india see in la in last in two years back sorry uh, 10 million people arrives in india foreign tourist Uh, in maharashtra number 1 in tourist uh, attraction uh, or tourist foreign tourist visits in in maharashtra in india maharashtra number 1 tamil nadu number 1 in domestic tourist visits uh, 
so also we can uh, do research on impact of tourism economic aspects socio cultural aspects environmental aspects and health aspects is in one aspects also you can do uh, phd uh, uh, big research also and sustainable development this is the last part uh, two three slides are remaining uh, sustainable tourism this is very important because the way you know the benefits and the detriments and benefits of the tourism uh, sector uh, on the geography on the nature on the environment so environment is getting de deteriorate because of the more flux of students tourists are welcome in any places even at mount everest there was a traffic jam 2 years back in in may to in may 2020 there was a traffic jam in mount everest see the mount everest is very very risky adventure tourism and only only few 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 people used to go there okay and they are all physical fit mentally fit but even there is a traffic jam even space tourism is developing even uh, that uh, oceanic tourism is de developing so uh, we have to consider uh, in all type of tourism consider the sustainable tourism this point is most important because if we preserve our tourist places then more people we can welcome in our future uh, uh, future time so uh, these are the um, do's and don'ts uh, in any tourist place so we have to keep means important is uh, here plastic plastic we don't use plastic and uh, this is my summation i think i took uh, more than 1 hour and only 7 8 5 6 minutes are remaining for any um, queries or any questions thanks a lot thank you sir thank you sir uh, i think रिलेटेड है हो 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 ते हा तुम हा बेस्ट तुम्हारे पैला केस स्टडी में दाखिल वारक तो एक्चुअली तो रस्ते वारक होता पुम्मी लोकल एक डेस्टिनेशन घंडरपुर पंडरपुर युटिलिटीज ना का युटिलिटीज है मैं टॉयलेट पास तुम्हें प्रत्येक घटक घू शकता जोपाई की व्यवस्था है का ना तिथला तुम्हें किसी एक घेतीस फैक्टर मैं दाखिल है पैल केस स्टडी मध्य सात फैक्टर तुम्हें कुछ ही फैक्टर घू श युटिलिटीज मध्य आणि एक दोन तीन टेबल मध्ये तुमचा पेपर तयार होतो आणि सर सॅम्पलिंग सॅम्पलिंग म्हणजे कसं आणि किती करावं लागेल म्हणजे सॅटिस्फॅक्टरी मी हे बघा सॅम्पलिंग आता बघा पाच दहा लोकांमध्ये यांनी तीन हजारचं सॅम्पलिंग केलं ओके तर तुम्ही सॅम्पलिंग तुमचा डेटा मॅक्रो डेटा किती मोठा आहे त्याच्यावर असतं अर्थात पंढरपूरचं तुम्ही हे वारकरीच्या काळातलं घेताय ना तुम्ही वारीतल्या काळातलं बरोबर तुम्ही आता वारकऱ्यांचे वारकऱ्यांचा सर्व्हे करणार की नाही तुम्ही तुम्ही चार पाचशे तरी घ्यायला पाहिजे मिनिमम आणि एकाच दिंडी मधल्या दोन लोकांचं घेण्या चार लोकांचं घेण्यापेक्षा एका दिंडीतले दोन लोक घ्यायचे दुसऱ्या दिंडीतले दोन लोक घ्यायचे कारण अशा मेन दिंड्या अडीचशे दिंड्या असतात आणि बाकीच्या छोट्या मोठ्या दिंड्या तर शेकडोने असतात त्यामुळे प्रत्येक दिंडीतलं एक दोन एक दोन लोकांचा सर्व्हे करायचा तुम्ही क्वेशनरीचा सर्व्हे आणि होत ते आता हे जे दाखवलं मी त्या त्याद्वारेच तुमचं ते कॅल्क्युलेट होईल आणि प्रॉपर काढता येईल थँक्यू सर चालेल मी तुम्हाला लागल्यास तुम्ही तुमच्याकडे एखादा जुना पेपर असेल कोणाचा मी लागल्यास हा माझ्याकडे जो पेपर आहे माझ्याकडे पाच सहा पेपर आहे त्यातला एखादा मी तुम्हाला फोटो पाठवतो हो चालेल सर मी तुम्हाला मेल करतो मला हा नाही मेल कराच नाही व्हॉट्सअप करा मला हा व्हॉट्सअप नंबर आहे माझा त्याच्यावर तुमचं नाव आणि काय पाहिजे तुम्हाला मग मी पेपर लगेच फोटो काढून पाठवतो 
माझ्या मते संपलाय ऑर्गनायझर आय थिंक मडके सर हा सर वोट ऑफ थँक्स येस येस आय थिंक देर इज नो क्वेश्चन सो सो प्लीज ओके सर ओके सर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ माय एव्हरी वन आय वुड लाईक टू एक्सप्रेस माय ग्रॅटिट्यूड टू दिस प्लेस today's our topic is new avenues in tourism sir whatever the guidance you have given us uh, thank you for that and thank you uh, for sharing the information about various uh, national and international tourist destination with us that information will be uh, very useful thank you to you our teacher as well as our ongoing research work and i would like to thank, thank the department of geography and research center of sp college for arrange this lecture for us i also thankful to our course coordinator professor devne sir and co coordinator dr davle sir and uh, last but not least i would like to thank you all participant uh, to present uh, here and listen this session very carefully Finally I would like to uh, thank you uh, thank everyone and stop uh, stop here uh, um, <coughs> and stop here thank you uh, once again all of you thank you thank you thank you Martin sir thank you Manmohan ji chance dile badal tumche krupa hai prashna pathwa sir paach paach prashna kathin kaadu ke sope kaadu सर सोपे काढा आपलेच येत लोक सर सोपे काढा लेक्चर वरचे काढू की लेक्चरच्या बाहेरचे काढू लेक्चर वरचे लेक्चर वरचे लेक्चर वरचे काढायला काय तू विद्यापीठाचे चक्र मारायला होता का इन्क्वायरी साठी आई मी विद्यापीठ म्हणताय 20% शुड बी आउट ऑफ सिलेबस मग याला कुठे सिलेबस असतो का चालेल चालेल ठीक आहे ठीक आहे पाठवतो मी आणि प्रश्न म्हणजे ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह ना एबीसीडी ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह एमसीक्यू चालेल चालेल ठीक आहे थँक्यू प्रश्न पाठवा त्याचे उत्तरही पाठवा त्याच्या बरोबर आउट ऑफ सिलेबस काही प्रॉब्लेम नाही आम्हाला आणि उत्तर आपणच करणार आहे सर काय परीक्षा परीक्षा निगेटिव्ह ठेवली तर इंटरेस्टिंग होत त्याचे उत्तर पाठवल्यानंतर निगेटिव्ह करण्यात अजून काही काही कंडिशन ठेवलं तरी काही नाही ना मग आता उत्तर आल्यानंतर चालेल चालेल चला थँक्यू थँक्यू सर येस सर येस सर थँक्यू सर येस येस